Are you having trouble getting this task finished on your battle pass? Well, soon you won't be. Hey, what's going on, Home Skillity Biscuits? Sam here, and today we're going to be diving into the fastest way to collect 100 leeway local specialties. If you missed my video from earlier and you need help collecting Mondstadt local specialties, you can check that out here, and I will leave a link in the description for you guys to follow. So, let's get into it. All right, first things first, we have to determine what counts as leeway specialties. Nocticulous Jade, Glaze Lilies, Jayun Chili Peppers, Core Lapis, Star Conches, Silk Flowers, Violet Glass, and Jing Jin. Jing Zin? All of these count towards your objective. We are mainly going to be focused on these four, however, so if you need to farm other ones for some reason, feel free to change it up a bit. This guide is intended for those who want to get this over with quickly, not resourcefully. As such, we will be purchasing goods from merchants, so hopefully you have a little bit of Mora available. Now, to start us off, you're going to want to travel to Leeway. Make sure you teleport to this waystone just west of Leeway on the hill, otherwise it'll end up costing you a ton of time. From the waypoint at the top of the hill, go ahead and leap off without a care in the world and land safely in the palace grounds below. In the grass near the courtyard where Rex Lapis first appears, you'll find your very first specialty as well. Head through the gate or simply hop the wall if you're feeling edgy, and on the left side of the cliff you'll find more specialty items. These items include two silk flower bushes, giving you two silk flowers each, and one glazed lily. At the same round gate that you may or may not have used, depending on your agility level, you'll also find two silk flower bushes and another glazed lily. If you head around the building in front of you, you'll come across one glazed lily by itself and another two glazed lilies huddled around some bamboo trees, keeping each other warm, I assume. Head back around the building along the front and on the left side you'll find two silk bushes further back and one glazed lily front and center. From the waterfall near the cliff behind you, walk around the stone path and you'll also come across one glazed lily and one silk flower bush. If you climb up the rock next to you, you'll also find two more glazed lilies and a fantastic spot for a photo. Turn around, look down towards the ocean, and one more glazed lily will be staring right back up at you. Now, take note of the fact that right behind it is Boo Boo Pharmacy, because you'll be headed there in just a moment. If you jump from that lily and glide along the sides of the cliff, then continue heading west up the stone steps, you'll find one glazed lily on its own, and two more further up the hill. And now we can make our way over to Boo Boo Pharmacy where we meet Chi Chi for the first time. Here you'll find an NPC named Herbalist Gooey. Gee. Guy? Talk to this handsome lad and he'll be able to sell you 10 Jing Shin flowers. Jing. Jin. Unacceptable! Unacceptable! Now, before you leave Li Wei, you're gonna want to teleport to the Southern Waystone first. Right behind this giant tree next to the waystone, you'll uncover three more glazed lilies. You're gonna have a lot of these. On the other side of the courtyard from the same tree is Shaito, who sells our next set of specialties. From him, you can buy five Nocticulous Jades, bringing our total specialty count from Liwei Harbor alone to 48. Now, travel to Wangshu Inn to continue. From the waystone, perform another brave leap into the depths below and try to land near the closest bridge. Here you'll find two silk flower bushes. Travel north to the other bridge on the far side of the island and you'll come across three more silk flower bushes. Two are out in the open and one can be found just hiding behind some umbrellas. Also, who put these umbrellas here? Cross this very same bridge and not far along the path you'll find another two silk flower bushes with another one, yet again, blending in with these awkwardly placed umbrellas. We now have 62 out of 100 specialties collected. Now, teleport yourself to Hulao Mountain. From the waystone, you can leap right off and smash down onto some core lapis. Not far from that, you'll also be able to find four more core lapis rocks at the base of some trees near the dirt pathway. From there, head towards this spring at the top and wrap around the left side of the pond. Near a tree with a gravestone will be another four core lapis huddled together. Now we still haven't jumped off of a lot of things here yet, so go ahead and jump off the cliff right behind you. Right on the edge of the cliff near the tree you were just at is our final lone core lapis, which brings our total to 72. 
Finally, teleport to Chinsei Village. From the Waystone, travel down the stone path and your first J1 chili bush will be on your left. Keep traveling along the path until you meet Miss Bai at her house with a watermill attached to it. Here you'll be able to purchase 5 silk flowers, and for the love of god, do not buy those glazed lilies. There are so many better ways to spend Mora in this game, and we already have so many. <sighs> Continue traveling across the bridge and through the village. Once you get past the market square, you'll find one Jayun chili bush on your left, and another one surrounded by other bushes further down. This one can be a little bit hard to miss, so look very carefully for it. Continue on the stone path heading down the hill towards the fields. On your right, when your view opens up, you'll find one Jayun pepper bush. Just below that in the fields near a scarecrow is a glazed lily. After collecting those, turn and face the left side of the path instead. Just in front of the fields on this side, you'll find one other bushel of Jayun chili peppers and another glazed lily hidden in the field. Keep hopping down the platforms of the field to find another glazed lily here and another three glazed lilies closer to the bottom near the river. These can be pretty difficult to find, so watch for it closely. On the island connected by wooden bridges in the middle of the river, you'll also find a Jayun chili bush. And finally, our last three leeway specialties can be found with this Jayun chili bush on the other side of the river next to little Jing. Thanks for keeping it safe there, little guy. And with that, 100 out of 100 leeway local specialties have been collected. So, hopefully this helped. If it did, let me know. If it didn't, also feel free to let me know. Either way, drop a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this in the future. But until next time, this is Cyber Sam, signing off. Thank mm -hmm. you.